So another question that comes into mind is what is IDS? IDS is basically a solution to detect the intrusions in your environment. It's intrusion detection system. Now intrusion detection system can be host-based and network-based also. If it's a network-based, it would be a device that would be just like your firewall. It would be installed in a network. If it's a host-based, it would be a small agent that will be installed on your endpoint. That means on your machines that users are using or more importantly, on the servers that you have in your environment. So the host base, depending on its capabilities, is going to detect the changes or different events happening on your endpoint. If your endpoint is connecting any uh, websites, those are going to be detected by the uh, host based uh, agent. If there are any processes that are going to be executed, those are going to be recorded. Any file modifications, any registry modifications, these kind of things are being detected by the host-based agents. Same is the case with the network-based agents. They will be checking based on their signatures, uh, different events happening within your environment. So two methods that are being used by the intrusion detection system is signature-based. If they have already available, signatures for malware or any other attacks, they will be matching those depending on if it's a host-based or network-based IDS. The other would be the anomaly. If they find any behavior or any event that is uh, considered as anomaly based on their own baseline that they have created, it will trigger an alert. So remember, it is an IDS intrusion detection system. It is only going to detect and inform the user or inform the security team that this is what I have detected based on the signatures or the anomaly. Um, the other part is what is IPS? It is intrusion prevention solution. It has the same concept. It is also host-based and network-based, but in this case, it is also going to prevent the intrusion. If it observes something based on the signatures or based on the anomalies, it is not only going to detect it, it is also going to prevent the attack at that particular point, depending on how you have configured your intrusion prevention solution. I hope that clarifies between the, the concept of uh, IDS and IPS. If there are any confusions or any other questions, please do let us know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.